All right, ready to dive deep? Always. Today, we're tackling a pairing that's, well, let's just say it's got a reputation. Oh. I'm intrigued. Lay it on me. Libra and Scorpio, that's who we're looking at today. And for this one, we're using an astrology text as our guide. Okay. Using the zodiac as a lens. I like it. Exactly. And even if you don't buy into all that birth chart stuff, this text dives into some seriously interesting relationship patterns. Right. Because at the end of the day, it's about people, right? Absolutely. It's like we're cracking open a relationship playbook, but instead of chapters, it's planets and signs. What do you think about that approach? I'm all about it. It's like a different way of understanding the same old dance, isn't it? Totally. And this text, it did not hold back. Right off the bat, it describes the Libra Scorpio love connection as intense exciting sounds promising so far hold on there's more it also calls it challenging almost like a cautionary thrill ride you know Ooh, okay i see where we're going with this yeah so what's behind this recipe for relationship drama well the text points to that classic push and pull dynamic you know yeah. and it all goes back to those core energies each sign is supposed to have classic astrology talk i'm with you keep going okay so libra ruled by venus right the planet of love Beauty, harmony. Definitely a good start for relationship material. Right. But they're also an air sign. So there's this emphasis on logic, finding balance. And then we have Scorpio. Ah, yes, Scorpio. Now we're getting to the good stuff. Tell me about it. Ruled by Mars, action, desire, going after what you want. Intense energy right there. And we can't forget Scorpio is a water sign. So that adds another whole layer. We're talking depth, emotional intensity, like a whole different world. So it's like they're coming at this whole relationship thing from completely opposite ends of the spectrum. You could say that. And when those energies collide, well, let's just say the text used phrases like sparks fly. Mm. And it wasn't just talking about intellectual debates. Okay, so maybe less like oil and water, more like, I don't know, gasoline in a match. Now you're getting it. This is where that intense and challenging part really comes into play. Okay, sparks flying, gasoline, and matches. This is getting intense. But where does that leave us in terms of, you know, actually navigating a relationship? Right, because fireworks are fun for a while, but they don't exactly scream long-term stability, do they? Exactly. So how do these two handle the day-to-day, -day, especially when things get, well, challenging? Well, you might be surprised to hear this, but according to this text, communication could actually be a saving grace for this pairing. Really? Because with all that intensity we've been talking about, I would have thought communication would be where things go off the rails. It seems counterintuitive, right? But the text suggests that Libras are actually uniquely equipped to handle Scorpio's, shall we say, passionate communication style. Okay, now I'm really intrigued. How does that work? Remember how we were talking about Libra being all about air, logic, diplomacy? Yeah, they're like the peacemakers of the Zodiac, right? Always trying to keep things harmonious. Exactly. So while a Scorpio might be deep in their feelings, expressing everything with that signature water sign intensity, a Libra can kind of detach a bit, see the situation from a more logical standpoint. So they're not getting swept away by the emotional current, so to speak. Exactly. The text describes Libras as almost being able to translate Scorpio's intensity for the rest of the world. Like they have this innate ability to understand and interpret those deep, sometimes turbulent Scorpio emotions. Wow. So they're like the interpreters in this passionate, potentially volatile relationship that actually makes a lot of sense. Right. And it's not to say that Libra is always the voice of reason here. Yeah. This isn't a one-way street. Scorpios have a lot to offer when it comes to communication, too. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they're ruled by Mars, right? They're not exactly wallflowers. Definitely not. Remember that Martian drive for action. That can be really helpful for Libras who, let's be honest, can sometimes get stuck in their heads weighing every single option. Oh, 100%. Analysis paralysis is a real thing for Libras. Right. And that's where a Scorpio can step in with that directness, that go-getter energy, and help nudge Libra towards a decision. So again, it's that push and pull we were talking about. It can create those initial sparks, but it also plays out in how they communicate, how they help each other grow. Exactly. It's about finding that dynamic balance. Of course, this being a Libra-Scorpio pairing, it's rarely going to be smooth sailing all the time. The text definitely didn't shy away from oh, that. Oh, really? What did it say? Let's just say they used phrases like burning entire cities to the ground when describing some of the arguments these two can have. Okay, wow, that's some intense imagery right there. So we've got sparks flying, cities burning, 
This is definitely not a relationship for the faint of heart. No, you definitely need a strong constitution for this pairing. But in all seriousness, the text does suggest that this intensity, while potentially destructive, can also be incredibly potent in a positive way. Okay, so, like, how do you harness that nuclear energy and make it work for the relationship rather than against it? Well, that's where things get really interesting, and it's something we're going to explore in more depth right after this quick break. Well, for starters, you need a good dose of self-awareness from both partners. Makes sense. You can't very well navigate a relationship with that level of intensity if you don't even understand your own triggers, right? Exactly. Mm. And that's where those shared values the text mentioned come in. Because despite all the drama, remember, this pairing actually has the potential for deep, lasting commitment. Right. We kind of glossed over that before the break. It seemed counterintuitive at first, given how different Libra and Scorpio are. It's one of those things that might not be obvious on the surface, mm. but when you dig a little deeper, it makes sense. So how do those shared values, especially consistency and commitment, actually play out in real life for a Libra-Scorpio couple? Well, the text used a pretty interesting analogy to illustrate this point. I'm always up for a good analogy. Hit me. Okay, so they basically said that if a Libra and a Scorpio could share one activity happily ever after, it would probably involve a lot less talking and a lot more well. Okay, I think I get where you're going with this. Yeah. Let's just say we're not talking about a couple's pottery class here. Precisely. We're talking about the deep, primal connection. The kind that can fuel a whole lot of passion, but also, if channeled correctly, a whole lot of commitment. Interesting. So it's like that shared intensity, that potential for burning cities, as the text so dramatically put it, it can translate to the bedroom as well. Exactly. And this is where those shared values of consistency and commitment take on different shades of meaning for each sign. For a Libra, that desire for consistency often stems from their need for balance and harmony. They crave partnership, stability, a sense of peace, and security in the relationship. Which makes sense, right? They're all about finding that equilibrium in all areas of life, including love. But what about Scorpio? Their need for commitment seems to come from a totally different place. Absolutely. For a Scorpio, that craving for commitment runs much deeper. It's less about external harmony and more about that all-consuming, soul-merging kind of connection. Mm -hmm. They want to dive deep into the depths with their partner, experience everything with an intensity that most signs can only dream of. So even though they're coming at it from these totally different perspectives, both Libra and Scorpio are ultimately seeking that same profound sense of belonging with another person. That's it, that feeling of being truly known and understood on the deepest level. And honestly, isn't that something we all long for in our relationships, regardless of our astrological sign? 100%. That universal desire for connection, for intimacy, for someone to share life's adventures with, it's beautiful, really. But also, as we've been discussing, it's not always easy. It's definitely a journey. And like any good journey, it's not without its bumps in the road especially for a pairing like this, with such intense highs and lows. But that's where the real growth happens, right? When we're challenged to step outside of our comfort zones, to understand a perspective different from our own, and to ultimately build something stronger and more resilient because of it. I love that. So it's less about finding the perfect match, according to the stars, and more about using these insights as a starting point for deeper self-reflection and more meaningful conversations with our partners. Exactly. This text, whether you're a diehard astrology enthusiast or a curious skeptic, gives us a new lens for understanding those age-old relationship patterns. It's like a roadmap, highlighting potential pitfalls and hidden treasures along the way. Beautifully put. It's about recognizing that even though the path to love might be paved with challenges, those very challenges can be opportunities for incredible growth, both individually and as a couple. Exactly. And at the end of the day, isn't that what makes the journey worthwhile? Kind of said it better myself. Well, there you have it, listeners, a deep dive into the passionate, tumultuous, and ultimately incredibly complex world of Libra and Scorpio. Thanks for joining us on this exploration. And remember, no matter what your sun sign is, the key to any successful relationship lies in open communication, empathy, and a willingness to embrace both the sparks and the storms that come with the territory of love. Until next time, keep exploring.